Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm officially now on winter break. I'm done with finals week. I'm done with all of my homework and my projects and everything, and I can finally start focusing on something other than schoolwork. And I'm so excited because Christmas is in a week, less than a week. It's a week from yesterday, and I haven't watched a single Christmas movie yet, and that makes me so sad. Do, let me show you what I plan to read while I'm on my winter break. I've got a very ambitious TBR. There's no way I'm going to get to all of these, but I like options and I want to have some options. This one I really want to read this week. This is the only book I have chosen here that I want to get finished in the next six days. So this is the most ambitious part of my TBR. I didn't get to it last Christmas. I don't want to wait till next Christmas to read it. So my only solution is to somehow cram it into the next six days. I don't know what I'm let It Snow, which is a collection of three short stories by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. And I believe that these three stories interweave and kind of play on each other. They actually converge at some point in the story. I mean, I think I read that somewhere, maybe the back of the book. I really want a good holiday, cozy, Christmas, festive, spirit-filled week since I haven't had any of that. So that's the first book that I want to read and the only one that's like immediate to my priority list. It's on the top, okay? It's the first one. The next book that's a big priority to finish while on winter break since I've been reading this book since October is Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rush. I still have not yet finished it. I still have a hundred and some odd pages. I lost my bookmark. It fell out, so I don't even know where I was. I need to move on from this book. Like, we need to have our time together, and it needs to be good, but I need to move on from you as well. You can't hoard all of my attention. And the final big, I must read this ASAP, The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. I need to read this before the movie comes out in January, so I really have to get on this. I want to read the book before I see the movie, and I want to see the movie in the theater. I know people love this first installment. Infinite Sea, I've heard similar opinions about that one, but this one I really have heard great things about. People seem to really love this book, and I've been in the mood for it. I've been wanting to read it for several months now, I just haven't gotten around to it because my life is a mess and I have no time for anything. So I really have three main books that I want to read over Christmas. I have to get these done. Priority uno, dos, and tres. Got to read these books. If I get through all of those and I have time left on winter break, I have four other books picked out. Two of them are new releases that came out this past fall that I just still haven't gotten to. And I know, I know, to read them, one in particular. That would be Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. I had tried really, really, really hard to get all those books in before September 1st so I could read this when it came out. And I finished Air of Fire in September, and then something happened. I read about five chapters of it, and then put it aside, and never went back to it. I really want to get to this. I don't know how many times Trina, from between chapters, has told me that I need to read this book and that I need to give her my Air Fire book rant. And she's been very patiently waiting, and I keep telling her soon. But I have no concept of what the word soon means. Soon, Trina. I promise. It's coming very soon. Next one came out not quite so long ago, so I'm not quite as embarrassed by this one. And that is Winter by Marissa Meyer. This one came out in November, and I just want to finish the series. I've heard really great things about this book. Everyone's talking about it, and everyone's reading it right now. So I want to get to this. It was one of my most anticipated books of the year. Same with Queen of Shadows, but we all, see how, uh, we all saw how that went. The next one on my list is one that I've been wanting to get to and wanting to get to, and I just keep forgetting that I have it on my shelf. I don't know why. The Sweet Evil Trilogy by Wendy Mc... Giddis? No, Wendy Higgins. I just really want to read this book, okay? I want to read all of these books. I want to read all the books in the world. I don't have time to do that. But I just want to have unlimited time to read all the books and have no obligations or responsibilities and just read all the time. Is that, just, is that so hard to ask for? And the final one I have here will actually be a reread for me if I get to it. I read this book about this time last year and I just wasn't feeling it. Like, I just didn't 
connect with it the way that so many other people connect with the series, I think I want to give it a second chance. I think I want to try again, see if perhaps the second time around I like it any better. And that is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. The fact that other people love it so much and say it's one of their favorite dystopians has me curious as to why I didn't connect with it really at all. I mean, why? Why did I not like it? I don't really know. Not that I didn't like it. I just didn't love it. It was... Mm. Mm. It's annoying. Oh, these are all the books that I want to read while I'm on a break. That's not even going to be remotely possible, but I'm going to try my best to see if I can do that. I have to read one more book to complete my Goodreads challenge. These are really heavy. Thank you for watching. It's been a fantastic time. Oh.